guys, we've got another ingrown toenail for you today. And this one's a little bit weird. It's not on the inside or the outside. It's actually at the bottom of the nail. Now, we're not sure, but we think a little two-year-old could be responsible for this, but we're not gonna talk about that part. So, in order to get the cuticle area back there where it's swollen and puffy, we have to remove the entire nail. It also kind of looks discolored, so I think there could be some blood leaking under there. So let's see what we've got. All right, we've got her numbed up with two little pokes at the bottom of her toe. We're gonna squeeze it and put a tourniquet on it to keep the blood away. Now we're gonna make sure she's numb. Anything here? You feel that? Right, yeah. You feel pressure or sharp? Sure. sure. All right. We're going to put just a little bit more numbing medicine in. Top drawer, Miss Casey. Can I have an alcohol to the left? Perfect. And then will you get me a syringe? I lied. I need lidocaine. This young lady is 26 weeks pregnant, I believe. So we're not going to use the marcaine component. Will you go out, Casey, and just have them get me some lidocaine only? Just lidocaine. Yeah. All right, because she was already numb, we're not going to use the cold spray. We're just going to come back in the area where it shouldn't really bother and give a little bit more medication. Usually when a toe doesn't get numb, it's because there's fluid or something on the inside that's neutralizing it. That usually tells me it's a little bit worse off than we actually knew. With the tourniquet on, the additional numbing works really, really well. And I did clean this toe off again since I was touching it. I did that while we waited on the medication. All right, we're gonna try that. Perfect. All right, my dear, let's try it one more time. So do you feel anything down here? And how about here? And here, and here. Good, if you feel anything during the procedure, you let me know. All right. So here's where our problem was. Her cuticle's all nice and puffy. So we're gonna loosen everything up. And as you see, stuff gets kind of tucked in there. One of my first thoughts when I saw this was that she had a pedicure and they kind of tucked her cuticle down in there, but that is not the case for her. That does happen quite often though. So if you're one of those gals or guys that gets pedicures pretty often, that's something you're gonna need to watch for. We go under the nail. Her husband is going to love that. Now, we do have a tourniquet on, so this blood means that it's trapped under there, and you can see how down here it's a lot darker than it is up here. So that's a sign of older blood. Okay, usually with a tourniquet, there's nowhere near that much that squirts out. And we have that nice discoloration there now. Okay, so there we go, there's our nail. I usually look underneath to make sure that there's no discoloration on the nail. And then we want to make sure that there's no irritation of the nail bed. There is a little line there, and I feel like that's just kind of a bruise of her skin. It's a little bit puffy. We try to make sure we get all of these little pieces of tissue out of there. I don't want anything to impede the healing of it. And I don't want to be too rough with it because we need a nice, new, healthy, pretty nail under there. The good news is everything on the nail bed looks great. The root I can feel and I don't feel anything obstructing it. So I think we're going to be safe there. So hopefully a nice new nail will grow right back in. All right, Miss Casey, I need the gauze with the antibiotic ointment on it. So I'm gonna remove the tourniquet. When we do these, they always bleed a lot, a piece of Coban. So we're gonna put this on there and wrap a piece of Coban. We start half on the toe, half on the gauze. And I'm gonna do this first piece kinda tight. Usually we have to let them sit here just to make sure that she doesn't bleed through her dressing on the way home. Next piece, please. Perfect, ma'am. So we'll wrap it pretty tight, but give her a minute to sit here and redo it because we don't want to cut off the circulation to her toe very long. If her toe falls off, we don't have to worry about the nail. So that is not the goal. Perfect, one little bundle. 
All right, guys, there you have it. That's removing a toenail, and it's not as gross as you think or as she thought, hopefully. So if you're having problems with your toenails, make sure you get in here. Have a good day.